Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. So today we're gonna do the update nine in my Pan Those Eyeshadows projects. If you are unfamiliar with this project, this project is a rolling style project pan that was created by Alexi. I will have her link down below in the description box as well as she's always in the end card of my video. So if you stay till the end, you'll always see her and you'll just be able to click on her. It'll take you to her channel. But there's a ton of people that are doing this project. It has really exploded into a, like, just a huge project. Like, it's not like a collaboration necessarily, but there's so many people doing it. If you search that hashtag, pan those eyeshadows here on YouTube or on Instagram, and I'm sure on other platforms as well, people do this project because it's just so much fun using your eyeshadows up. I feel like eyeshadow is probably the most creative portion of, like, a makeup routine. Um, so I think that you get really creative. You can do really fun color combinations and it's just fun. It's just fun. Kind of leaving it up to like randomization, picking shades that maybe you wouldn't put together all too often. So yeah, I have a baby shower I need to leave for in about 30 minutes. So I just need to like, we need to get down into this. So Without further ado, I'm just gonna show you the color story that I was working with last month. I had a lot of color in this, and it was a lot of fun to work with, but I'm very excited. Um, there's some rollouts. There is some rollouts this time. So I'm very excited about that because it was a hard shade. One of the shades was a very hard shade to hit, so place your bets on what that was. So we're just gonna start down the list. I usually go from what was in the furthest back up into like what the most recent roll-ins are. Um, to me, it just makes sense that way. So um, I'm gonna refer to my list. So if you see me looking this direction, that is why I have my laptop there with like my numbers and everything. Um, but the first item is actually comes from my BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I've actually had this in my rotation a couple times now. So I uh, had a matte blue shade. You'll see like a picture of it going on. But I had a matte blue in this. It was the first row, seventh column. That is my shade. But I hit pan in that guy. So that was my shade right there. And as you can see, I hit pan in that bad boy. Actually, I hit a bonus pan in this palette, which was that guy there. So I'm very excited um, to get more use in this palette. This is a palette that the shades aren't too deep. The product isn't packed too hard. So I feel like I can hit pan. This shade in particular was pretty loose, but I love that shade. I loved this shade to blend out this blue when I would do green looks um, with the blue, like a blue green look. I would really love using this to kind of blend out the look itself. So I really, really enjoyed this. Um, it was a lot of fun to create um, colorful looks, really stepping out of my comfort zone because blue eyeshadow is something I'm really drawn to, but rarely ever wear. So I was really excited to pull that shade and get use in it and obviously hit pan in it. So that that was huge. Um, if you're new to my pan those eyeshadows, I don't talk about how many uses or anything. I usually have that listed up here so you can just see it that way we just streamline. And with my time constraint today, that is gonna be what I'm relying on. So there is that. So that, the next shade comes from my Sailor Moon ColourPop Pretty Guardian palette. I love this palette. I know. I know not everyone does. Ooh, Ripley. So I know not everyone loves this palette. I love this palette. So the shade that I was working on this rotation, because this has been in a couple times now, the shade I was working on this time was the shade Justice, which was a yellow matte with like shimmer glitter in it, which I mean, I'm wearing this shade today and I don't think you can really see any glitter in my crease, but we have not gotten to pan yet. Um, I have re hit pan in that guy, but this one we are not quite there. Um, the dip is fairly deep in there, so it's only a matter of time before pan is hit. Um, I've been really focusing on the blue, I was focusing on the blue shade, but then I had a wear to work kind of look that I like exclusively wore 10 days out of the month, so this was not incorporated in that, so she got a little less use, but I'm thinking maybe I can start using this for like a wear to work kind of look. It's just to blend my crease out. So haven't hit it yet. I'm not mad that this is still in it because I love this palette because like 
And Sailor Moon's so cute, little Usagi. She's so cute. So the next shade comes from my Juvia's Place Masquerade palette. I have the deluxe fold, like the full size, not the deluxe size. I have the full size of it. I bought mine before they created the mini kind of thing. And I mean, more is more, right? The shade I'm working on is the shade Bori, which is a matte pink with shimmer or glitter in it. Again, um, as you can see from the last update, we had a, a little, a little dip in it. Um, we are not there yet. But, okay, that angle shows you the actual dip. It's like the shade has a belly button, basically. So I'm very proud of the, the usage I've gotten in this. I am actually wearing this right in the very center to kind of blend the orange and the shimmer shade on my lid. So I do have this on my lid today. Um, I've used this one 10 times. It's a lot. This is like the shade I used actually the most this month. So... We're still, we're still working on it, so. The next shade we're working on comes from my Juvia's Place Saharan palette. And I, this is my favorite palette by Juvia's Place. It's just something about the color story in here is so beautiful. The shade that I was working on was Jamila, which was a matte, pretty intense orange. I actually have that on my outer corner today. Just gonna show you all the things that I'm wearing. So I did um, wear this one quite a bit. Um, we had a dip in it last month and I mean, we're still, we still have a dip and the dip is so noticeable that you can kind of tell even without like really dipping the palette, you can really see that right there, there is a nice big dip right in the center. I do use a pretty domed pencil brush to kind of pick up the product and really blend it into the outer corner of my eye when I do wear this. I predominantly wear this as an outer corner shade, but I can wear this all over the lid. In fact, I think maybe I will try to do like a wear to work and like focus on this kind of shade maybe all over the lid do a shimmer on top and then blend it out with the yellow from the sailor moon palette so we will see on this one so i think maybe next month i could hit pan in this maybe then comes to the palette that i think is going to be in here for ever because tart palettes and tart shadows are pressed extremely firmly into the pan so i don't foresee this being one that's like oh quickly used and then like gone however I think in the, when I rolled this in, the tart embossing was pretty worn away, but there was still like some visible lettering in it. Like the, the shade was like diminishing down, but like you could still kind of see the etching of where it said tart in the shadow. And I feel like I have, I'm working on this shade here. I'm sorry that the pan is, or the palette's so reflective, but I feel like I've, for the most part, worn away the embossing so like you can clearly see in this shade that tart embossing but the other one does not and there is a tiny little dip in it i'll try to get a better like clip of it for like the next next update but this shade is going to be in there for a while it is not going anywhere this is really nice to actually pair with the orange and the bright pink so i'm not too worried about this but i do think that this is going to be something where i hit my usage goal and then it gets rolled out so the last and final shade is actually a single shadow and i love getting single shadows but i was a little sad pulling this because it is a brand new eyeshadow in my collection. This was a Glaminatrix shade. So the shade that I was working on is Hopping. It's a really beautiful metallic green and this I actually did a lot of the same look. I incorporated this into my wear to work look um, but I hit pan. I was not expecting to hit pan in this. The shadow is like I don't know if you'll be able to tell over here like the shadow is crumbly like this is extremely loosely pressed i do have like a pressing tool that i did try to press it but it didn't help it at all there's a lot of like crumbles missing in this shadow so the shadow is extremely loosely pressed it's kind of a little annoying no fault of it i think maybe just like transit affected it and just this shade in particular is the crumbly like the most crumbly of all of the ones that i have so I hit pan, that's two items that are rolling out. And I did not expect to roll two items out. I Once I hit the blue, I was like, oh, well, I guess we have one at least shadow, you know? But then we roll, I hit that one this week and I was like, what the heck? So I did a lot of the same look. I was panning a look for a wear to work kind of thing where I only had it on my inner corner. So I used a really precise like pencil brush, which is why that hole is so like drilled down, you know? 
So let's take a minute to talk about pan percentage. Sorry, I that just I feel like very discombobulated because I'm like really trying to get stuff done right now. So let's talk about pan percentage for a minute. I did actually hit an additional pon bleh. I did hit an additional bonus pan. So like I showed you, I hit a bonus pan in my BH Take Me Back to Brazil. This guy here very excited about that but I actually I feel like I owed you one you know like I this was the first product that I rolled out at a usage mark and I am determined I guess so I actually um have started to use lovely bunch back from my going coconuts palette that I rolled out in July I use this in my like everyday where to work and I hit pan in it, and I didn't expect it, and I, I can't believe that. Very, very happy about this. So, so hitting pan in four eyeshadows this month, I have now hit pan in 56 eyeshadows in my collection. I have 465 pans that can get a pan hit into it. So that means we have 12.04% pan percentage. Like, I did not expect to be over 12%. Wow. I know last month I had said I had 11 and I was lucky if I was going to get 15% this year, but now I really think that I could get maybe like 15 to 18%. Like I still would need to hit 37 more pans to get 20%, which I don't think is going to happen this year. However, I'm very determined. I think I can get 15. I think 15 is totally doable. Maybe like stretch goal of 18%. So we'll see about that. Who knows? So now my favorite part, and I think everyone's favorite part, is the roll-ins on this project. I have 440 shadows. Okay. Okay, so I have 1 to 440, so I'm so happy that this thing works. So I have shade 237 and 76. So 237 and 76. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. So why don't we start with the, the first shade that I rolled in, which is actually, it's 276, which comes from my Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. So the shade that I rolled in is Lure, which is, it's a beautiful shade. And I think it's perfect for this time of year where we're kind of transitioning into those cooler months. So I, and I, these shadows are not hard to hit pan in. So I foresee this being a pretty easy one for me to hit pan in. Um, yeah. Did I just grab a different shade? Very soft. I really love, I know that this palette didn't get as much love. Um, that is that guy. Really pretty. Now the next shade that we rolled in, I am not excited about because I rolled out a matte blue eyeshadow to roll in. A matte blue eyeshadow. This is from the Morphe James Charles palette. If you're new here, I depotted my Morphe James Charles palette, hence the single shadow. And I've been toying with the idea of decluttering this one actually. So, ha, huh, jokes on me. So I got the shade Brother, which is from again the Morphe James Charles palette. This is a deeper, like more. I like this blue more than the BH Cosmetics one. It kind of reminds me of the blue that's in the Sugar Pill um, Fun Sized Palette. Like just a bit deeper. So, I mean, we're going to work on another blue, guys. Hopefully you haven't gotten sick of seeing me rock blue eyeshadow looks. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, since I am, I have about seven minutes until I have to leave, I'm just going to have a picture of the swatches of all of the shadows that I'm going to be working on this month. I have too much color, I think, for the transitional period of going into fall. The fall time, I really want like olivey greens. I really am craving like burnt oranges, rusty kind of shades. And now that I'm getting... I love bright eyeshadow. I love colorful eyeshadow, but it's not what I want to wear. I, if I got, if this was a green, like if this was a, this kind of intensity green, like a bright Hunter Kelly green, I would be all for it. But the fact that it's a blue rather than like a shade that I really am wanting to draw, get drawn towards this time of year, I'm kind of hesitant on it. But beggars can't be choosers. That is the beauty of this project. And I'm excited to 
work on all of these shadows. Let me know if you want to see, I know I did it a couple months ago, um, a look using all of my pan those eyeshadows in one single look. Let me know if you would be interested in seeing something like that again, or if you don't care about look videos, that's fine too. Um, but stay tuned, I will, since I pulled a single, I will be doing a build your own palette this month for like a focus palette, just like I did with my Glaminatrix one. And this is like what I would have wanted. This is what we got. So it's okay. Like again, beggars can't be choosers. I'm very excited to get more use out of my collection. And if I know anything about Morphe mats, it takes me about 30 times to, to get a pan in it. So maybe I can hit pan within this month, really bust out some looks. But until next time, I hope you guys are staying safe, staying sane, and staying healthy. And I hope that you are having a lovely weekend, day or night, wherever you are. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey.